Oh, sorry, I wasn't he, paying attention. He died? Oh my god. <laughs> sorry, somebody sent me a message. It was more important. What? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Hello, guys, and welcome to the Awkward and Doing It Wrong podcast, episode 19. My name is Travis, Flame Wheel. That's me. And Nicole. Hello. Who hates me? Always. Always and forever. <laughs> Apparently, I'm very honest. Supposed to get the fuck out of here. So, uh, Nicole, you and Flame take over. I'll I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Okay. What were you doing before you got here, you fuck? (laughs) Such such aggression today on this fine Sunday before Independence Day, where nothing's free anymore. My sad face. (laughs) Can't even watch that movie free on YouTube anymore. Oh no. What did the, what is yeah. the what did the aliens have to do with it? Welcome to Earth, motherfucker. Nobody. I mean that is scary. Nobody wants to be welcome to Earth. Uh, no. Nobody wants to be here anymore. <laughs> They're like we're no. good, we're, we're good. Bad. We we thought about invading you, but we're good. You know we're... y'all are y'all are gonna obliterate yourselves. We're just gonna fucking ignore your ass. Yeah right. Yeah. So they were like on their way like to fuck shit up, and then they saw it. And they're like, oh y'all are doing a good job without us. Bye. See ya. Nah nah y'all don't need our help. Y'all y'all just fucking spiral into oblivion. It's cool. Mm-hmm. We'll go find another planet. So we are yeah. gathered here today. We're not getting married. <laughs> <laughs> to talk no, that news. attitude to talk news <laughs> oh. nudes we're gonna talk nudes, nudes. <laughs> and uh and dudes we're gonna we're just gonna and the worms uh what's that philip defranco <laughs> let's just get right into it and the worms and, and the, the worms, worms philip defranco <laughs> Flame wheel. Uh, just, just go, flame. Just go. What an inspiration. Just go. <laughs> All right. So here I was sitting here wondering, cause uh, reasons, and I wanted to discover why are they called sloppy joes? Sloppy Joe was slap. Sorry. Cause they're messy. <laughs> they're sloppy. And the uh, you've never seen Billy Madison, right? I have. Okay, uh, Flame so. has him because he doesn't watch any Adam Sandler movie because even the ones that have. are good because he's uncultured. Um, no, no, there are no good Adam Sandler that's movies. That's bullshit. Where he's the main character. That's bullshit. Those the, the ones in the 90s, sure. The ones in the 2000s, touch and go as fuck. But the ones in the 90s, definitely classics. Don't even get me started on Happy Gilmore. I'll rip your throat out, son. What? But anyway... I digress. Sloppy, <laughs> Sloppy Joes are an American creation that have been around since at least the 1950s. They my, probably got their start as a variation of loose meat sandwiches. My point was in Billy Madison, the the kitchen lady made them extra sloppy for you. That's gross. <laughs> I I, I kind of want them contained to the bun. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's a sauce ratio, sauce to meat ratio that must be met. You like I get, your buns contained. I, Indeed. I like my buns contained. Giggity? Yeah, um, I, it originated in Iowa. Yep. BC does. Sussex City. Sioux City? Too far. Sussex City? Sioux City. Sioux City. Sussex City. Sussex City. City. I'm pretty sure it's Sioux. But I add, named Joe. Yep. Added tomato sauce to the loose meat sandwich. Oh my god! Called them sloppy joes. Yeah. <laughs> what a! I mean, people just throw shit into hamburg and make sloppy joes. So I don't feel like he was doing anything over the top. But he was the first know? one. He was the first. I highly doubt he was the first one. He's the first one that sold them to the public. Yeah, he was the first one to sell it. <laughs> There's some lady sitting at home pissed, like that's my fucking idea. <laughs> Should have ended. <patented. laughs> Maybe if you would have worked at a restaurant, bitch. What, what a thing to patent. Tomato s- sauce in Hamburg. Okay, but listen, he's like, that's a really good idea. because oh, There's a lot more stuff to good. it. Well, it depends how you make it. Every, everyone um, makes it differently. Put ground hamburger and tomato sauce together and make... Let's see. Onions, sauce. tomato sauce, or ketchup, and seasoning. Oh, yeah, that's, so that's tough. Yeah, that right. Happens. For your convenience... You can also use a canned product called Manwich. Manwich. <laughs> or you could just not eat it. You, you know, know what, sir? 
Sloppy Joes are fine. I like, I like them. They're, I mean, it's not like if if you know I'm not banging the table for Sloppy Joes. I'm not like coming home and I'm like, you better have the Sloppy Joes on the fucking table. Why are you banging the table? Yeah. Did you at least get consent? Yes. It's 2020. Oh. You have to. Oh my god. Rule number one. Okay, Always listen. This took a turn, and I wasn't. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> you were here for it. This is all your fault. I, you know, I should have seen that coming, and I didn't, and I'm a little bit sad. Ah, I should have seen it coming. Uh, uh, oh God, move on. <laughs> Speaking of food, because uh, obviously I ate some today, and we what you ate food? Eating food last week, and I got one for you because I did it today. Okay. All right, so I made. I made a sandwich, and I had pork and beans and cottage cheese and potato chips. Mm -hmm. And I mixed the pork and beans and cottage cheese together, and I scooped it up on a potato chip. I'm perplexed by the cottage <laughs> cheese at all. I mean, I, I, now. I mean, I can eat, like, I mean, I actually like cottage cheese personally, but, like, you mix it with whatever the fuck you're doing, and I just don't even... I don't know what's like, going on there. I I that? question your food choices. That would just give me a stomachache. <laughs> I would die. No, I don't. I don't really like beans, though. Oh, you don't like pork beans. Mm -mm. I like pork beans. I, I, I only eat pork. This was introduced to me recently because um, I was at work and we were talking about weird food combinations or whatever, and somebody was like, "Yeah, I mix cottage cheese with pork and beans and scoop it up on a potato chip," and I was like, "Are you?" What are you talking? What? That's kind of weird. But then I was that sounds like, like some British flurry shit right there. Mm -hmm. Beans like, on everything. I would scoop pork beans, and beans for breakfast on a chip and eat it all the time. So I don't know why adding cottage cheese would make any difference, you know? Because I like cottage cheese. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just try it, and it was actually pretty good. I <laughs> feel like that mixture of flavors just would it not work. Doesn't work for me in my heart. There's just too much texture <laughs> differences there. My brain would be like, nope. You don't like mixing stuff anyways. Yeah. Because it's like, the people, the people in England listen to you. I know you're fucking listening. <laughs> <laughs> flary, you fuck. Hi, everyone. Not just Flary. Just kidding, Flary. I'm sorry. Uh, not just Flary. Everybody from England. I know because they have, what do they call that? That full breakfast where they have like eggs and and hash why, browns why? and sausage and bacon and everything. And it's like, that looks incredible. Uh, it needs beans, though. And I'm just like, no, it fucking no. doesn't. <laughs> No, it does that's not so, need that's beans. What we're looking for right now, and I know it's a different culture, but it does not even sound good. <laughs> this is a people that invaded different countries just to get spices, Travis. All they know is blandness, sir. That's true. What were we saying, Nicole? Wouldn't those beans be like baked beans, almost though? Most likely, they're pretty close to baked beans. Yeah, they're well, just see, baked beans. The be I, I didn't heat them up; they were just cold pork and beans. Cold. Pork and beans? That's how you eat pork and beans. Cold. N no! They're not baked beans. They're meant to be warmed up. No, they're not. All, all beans are meant to be cooked. No. I, th I think they're no. nasty regardless. So this, this argument is between you guys. <laughs> raw kidney beans will kill you. No, they're not raw. No, they're pre-cooked, but that's beside the point. Hold you on. can eat them cold. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nicole's doing research. Oh, no, God. I hear typing. <laughs> it's over. Um, God damn it. <laughs> but Listen, yeah. You don't need to cook them. I understand you don't need to, but you should warm them up. No. No. Right out of this this isn't... We are, we are not at nuclear level... Nuclear holocaust levels of needing to survive yet, Nicole. You can use heat. <laughs> To make food a tasty level of hot. No, no, they're better cold. I've always eaten them cold. What? They, like, obviously I've had baked beans, but, like, I've never heated up pork and beans. That's weird. <laughs> no, I, you know, you, the opposite is true. I can't be the only one, right? Like, I think you're the only one. No, there's other people that have eaten them cold. No. I think so. No. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Okay, listen. I know somebody that eats um, Chef Boyardee raviolis out of the can. I do that. Oh Without God. heating them up? Yeah. That's fucking disgusting. 
I, I I must say that Chef Boyer D ravioli out of the, out of the camp period is disgusting, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> I don't I don't even Chef fucking food snob over here. <laughs> I'm not big on the canned meals unless it's like chicken noodle soup or something or tomato soup. Oh, tomato soup is the best. Mm-hmm. With a, with there's some grilled cheese. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Well, obviously you have to have a grilled cheese sandwich with Wait, tomato I feel soup. Like... I feel like you have no say in me eating cold pork and beans if you're over here eating fucking cold ass <laughs> You can't judge me. I don't think you understand how my mind works. Yes, uh, yes, I can. Whatever. That no. That's more well, disgusting than pork and beans cold. So there you go. In the comments, what's worse? Cold Chef YRD or the idea of cold pork and beans? Pork and beans. Or fuck all of it. You don't like eat anything, do you? Not those two things. You just happen to you just happen to be talking about the two things that I'm not a huge fan of, so I feel like okay, so you know those lists that are on Facebook that pop up every now and again. It's like how picky of an eater are you? Would you eat blah 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 blah? You'd be like, no, 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 to literally everything. Well, I mean it depends. I mean some of those some of those are bullshit because they'll put a bunch of fucking weird things on there and you'll be like, Well, no, it's fucking gross. No, why would you put pineapple on pizza? No. Oh fuck! I fuck with pineapple on pizza. I like pineapple, and I can't say I'm not gonna sit here and say I've ever had it on pizza, so I can't exactly say that I know. You're not missing out. You've never gotten a Hawaiian pizza. No, it's just it's never it's never appealed to me. So In the immortal words of my father, how can you fully cook a pizza all the way through and the pineapple still be cold? I have so many questions. It's not the pineapple gets hot. It is ran through a pizza oven. I <laughs> I feel like it'd be hot. Why is no you cook the pineapple too? It's warm. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Oh my Flame Wheel is so picky. When he wants something hot, he wants it cold. And when he wants it cold, it's gotta be hot. Or something. Giggity. I don't know what I'm oh, talking wait. about. I don't know what you're talking about either. I there were definitely words coming out of my mouth, but I don't know if I got it right. I don't think you did. Uh, I tried. Huh. I mean, you were kind of close. I did my best. That's all we ask, you know? No. That's, I, I want better from Travis. You're not going to get it. You know better. It, Next his topic. best is like Next. borderline mediocre. Next topic. That's, well, that's true. So here we are. It's been weeks of protests, and all people want is for police to stop killing people. It's all, the, all anyone really wants, I assume. And here we are. In the midst of all this, Quaker Oats has decided to take Aunt Jemima off the syrup. Bowl. Not, uh, you know, that was my favorite aunt. But <laughs> I, never really bought, I never really bought Aunt Jemima. But um, continue. So. I'm trying yeah. to think of what syrup I buy, and I don't think it's Aunt Jemima. It's like that maple... It's kind of like that one looks like a log cabin or something. I don't know. Okay, I don't even buy maple syrup because I don't make pancakes or waffles, so Ooh, I have no say in this. Thing. I do. Continue. Okay, wait a minute. Do you prefer pancakes or waffles? It don't matter. Shove it in my mouth. Waffles. Shove it in my mouth. I like waffles. Um, waffles are good. It could contain the like... syrup. You can't just say things like shove it in my mouth on this channel. I 100% can. That is 100% with this conversation. This, I, li this channel I literally just did it. Literally. <laughs> so obviously I can. Obviously. <laughs> Wait. Can, no, no. you got to use all the syrup. You can't contain it. What do you mean? You can contain it in the waffles and the, in, in the holes. When you put it on pancakes, it just kind of runs off onto the plate. And then it like soaks into the pancake. Uh, no, you got to overflow on. I do. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't understand why people... Okay, so I kind of heard the background story about this Aunt Jemima thing is, like, that it is kind of racist or whatever, but, like... Oh, no, no, it's 100% fucked up. Mm -hmm. What is it? What's the story? Uh... You bring up this topic and you don't know the story? So, she was hired. So, the was lady... This, was this an actual who... person? Yeah, so okay. the... Well, but Aunt Jemima and the person who played her are not the same person. And that's what Quaker Oak said when they asked for money for her burial. Mm. And they said, nah, go fuck yourself. Aunt Jemima's not a person. Mm. So the 
actress who portrayed the first one was Lillian Ro- Lillian Richard. She was hired to portray Aunt Jemima in 1925 and remained in that role for 23 years. She was born in 19 or 1891 and grew up in the tiny community of some bullshit. <laughs> That's uh, okay. <laughs> in 19... Uh, it's like folk. Never heard folk. of that. Never heard of that village. Folk. <laughs> seven miles west of Hawkins in Wood County, Texas. That that uh, that tiny village of whatever the fuck it is. Uh, it, it's literally Fook. F-O-U-K-E. Yeah, I've heard of Fook. it. Fook. Anyways. Fook. In 1910, she moved to Dallas, working initially as a cook. Her job pitching pancakes was based in Paris, Texas. After she suffered a stroke after World War II, she returned to Fux, where she <laughs> lived until her death in 1956. Okay. And then when her family had asked Quaker, hey, can you hook us up with a little bit of money for her burial plot? They said, go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. So not only did they keep her picture on there. They didn't pay for her funeral? And they didn't fucking pay for her funeral either. But they used her likeness the rest of her, you know, until what? A couple weeks ago. Was this okay, a person but... who recently died? No, she died in 1956. That's what I thought. She had to have died a long time ago. So why yes. is it a big deal now? No, no, no. It's not a big deal. Oh, the big deal about removing Aunt Jemima? I have no fucking clue. Yeah, I thought because maybe... nobody was, no one was fucking asking for that. Mm-hmm. They were literally protesting police slaughtering motherfuckers, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Oh, we'll get rid of Aunt Jemima, mm-hmm. bro." Okay, I don't know what the fuck you're doing? Quaker, why didn't Quaker pay for it though? Like, is that the racist thing? I don't. I that's I, I guess it's I'm kind of fucked not... up. Yeah. No, I mean, them not paying for it is fucked up, but was it because of her color? Well, I think because they were basically betraying, like, a a house slave Mm. is why. Is that what Aunt Jemima was? Uh, I always looked at at it as, like, uh, like a nanny. Yeah, maybe a nanny, yeah. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Like, I don't know the reasoning behind why they're getting rid of it, Hmm. but no one fucking asked. No one probably fucking asked for it. And it's, if they did, it was like 10, 20 years ago, you know? It's kind of like the actors are being like, well, I'm portraying a person that's not my color, so that's me fighting against it. But it's like, yeah, I, I mean, a lot of people are like, that's not really, I mean, that's not. You I have missed that much. the yeah. entire fucking point of mm-hmm. everything right now. Because mm-hmm. it's like. Literally, you're... if you were Quaker, you should be using your lobbying power to push for police reform or something. If that's what, if you actually want to fucking do something. You're not going to fucking do anything. Removing a fucking character off a fucking mm. fucking syrup bottle ain't going to do shit. I'm glad they're doing it. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But fucking do something if you feel like that's what you're trying to do. Are they going to change the name of the syrup, too? Yeah, they don't know what they're going to do. Just call it I think Anna. they're also getting rid of Uncle Ben's rice, too. Yeah, okay. What's I, mean, that, behind that? I mean, that is kind of racist, isn't it? Or no? Pretty sure. Yeah, but I don't know. It was. See, that's what I heard. Both these things, both of these things, were they want to get rid of them because of the racist part of it or whatever. But right, you can still have Uncle Ben's and just take the caricature off it. Yeah, I, I don't true. know what you're gonna do. I mean, with that's, Aunt e- that's easy. I mean, I don't know. Just call it. You can just call it Aunt Jemima. Just have a normal goddamn bottle. Right. Yeah. Quaker hasn't said what they're gonna do next. So just... if they make the bottle not look like a woman or whatever, but it's still called Aunt Jemima, that fixes it? I doubt it. Well, I, I mean, know they're gonna I think they're gonna rebrand completely. Just call it Jemima. It'll probably just be Quaker syrup. Work either. You just do Quaker syrup. Just call it Aunt. Make oatmeal. Call it Aunt then. Her name wasn't actually Aunt. Aunt Jemima. So if they could call it Jemima, I don't know how that would really equate. It's gonna end up being Aunt Jemama. Uh, <laughs> uh, Chad face. <laughs> and then they took the Native American lady off Lando Lakes. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't even remember that one. Uh, Is that potatoes? That's some kind of butter. 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 You don't cook. It's butter. Mm. butter. I do cook. Don't, don't pretend that you know me. Flamewell barely. Really I cooks. enjoy cooking. Only omelets. Just because I enjoy, Omelet just because I, I, just because I enjoy cooking, doesn't mean I should know every single character on every single brand. Well, maybe that. I buy off-brand. God damn it. That's gonna be our next podcast. What? No. Characters off of food. <laughs> no. 
Me, no. you yelling, I buy. Oh, okay, I see it now. I looked it up. Yeah. What, Leander Lakes? Yeah. But that's I not. Buy... Is that really a depiction of anyone, or is it just a random Indian woman? It's just random Indian woman. I don't know. Native I mean... American. My apologies. My bad. Yeah, you can't say the I word. God. Igloo? Yeah, that. Hindu? Um. I um. Hindu eight. <laughs> what? I said I. Hindu is H. It's silent H. Uh, that you can hear. I mean, I guess I just. I guess <laughs> I don't know. I guess it depends who it who it offends, right? Because I look at Land Lakes and I'm not like overly offended because there's a Native American woman on it holding butter. But, but you're not Native. American. But I'm not a Native American, so maybe they're maybe they're causing maybe they're mad about it. I don't know. See, I hadn't heard anything about Land Lakes. Mm -hmm. I had just heard about um. Andrew they had Andrew. done it before. I think the the riots started. Because mm. I know that I. Because I know the Cleveland Indians and obviously the Redskins are. They've been trying to get them to change that name forever. Um, in the NFL, and then the Indians used to have that mascot or whatever, and they I think they finally got rid of him, mm -hmm. right? Because his name was Chief Wahoo. Yeah, that was probably pretty offensive. Yeah. But um, that'll happen. I mean, things originated when everybody was racist, and then it keeps carrying on, and people are just eventually like, hey, that's fucked up. We got to do something about that. <laughs> we got to unfuck this. Yeah, when stuff was created back in the 40s when no one fucking cared. Except for the people who cared, actually, obviously. But you know what I'm I mean? sure there were lots of people who cared. Mm -hmm. It's just the amount of people who didn't care how far outweighed. Well, yeah. But we're here fighting for justice. Yeah, justice. Justice. Ice? So I can do. We can only talk about it on a podcast. <gasps> Sad face. Next topic. Yeah, well. <clears throat> All right. So I have an invasion of sugar ants. I have <laughs> no way to kill them. Stomp sugar on. ants. Or no idea how to kill them. You can't stomp on sugar ants. You They're take, invincible. You take the trap. you take the cinnamon you take a cinnamon stick and you put it on the ground. Really? And, and it contains them. Uh-uh. There was somebody I don't know if sugar ants. This may just be normal ants. I really don't know. <laughs> but you're just trying to make it No no no, some no I didn't. This is somebody told me some <laughs> at work, somebody told me this that they will not cross cinnamon. I can see that being feasible. Fuck cinnamon. I yeah. was told uh, baking soda baking soda mixed with powdered sugar might work. Mm. And then someone mentioned a product called Taro, which apparently yeah. just fucking murders the entire hive. You Which, at this point, I'm almost okay with. Taro is like, it comes in these little plastic things, and you like cut off one end, and they walk in there, and it like, there's this liquid in there, and it kills them. Mmm. I don't even know if the I don't know if the sentiment thing is valid. It's just what I'm told. What? I'm just passing along the information. Try to help. Appreciate it. No problem. You kill those motherfuckers. Kind of my my mental state at this point. Because like the thing is, I don't even know how this is possible. And maybe Nicole can relate. The fucking cat. I give her wet cat food every morning, and she still makes a fucking mess. Like no matter how big the bowl I make, she still fucking makes a mess. Uh yeah. Well. Yeah, I don't give my cat wet cat food very often, and the only uh, one to eat it is Ari, because Ash literally gags whenever he smells it. Really? Yeah. That is a weird old cat. Uh, I know, and it was it was literal hell whenever Ari was a kitten and still eating soft cat food, because we would have to give it to her, and Ash would walk up to it and just start, like, gagging. <laughs> I'm like, well, go away, you dumbass. Um, but they do that with dry food. Like, one of them will pick the dry food up out of their bowl, crunch it, and then little pieces will fly all over the floor. They don't eat those. They just go back to the bowl and get another big piece of dry food and, can, yeah. you know, repeat. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? So that's, yeah, and, yeah. I, and the sugar ants are drawn to her food. They don't go past her food. They just literally go into her dry food dish, take a teeny bit of the dry food, and walk off, I'm assuming. That's that's why I'm a dog person because if most dogs are like they will eat it all. They will get those crumbs on the ground if they're hungry enough. 
that's not the only reason I'm a dog person. It's just I just don't like cats. Oh, I mean, I don't hate cats. You know, I just I just don't like them. He says that, but in reality. You know, and I feel like that's the truth, though, like with dog, with dog people and cat people. Like dog people are like strictly dog people. It's rare to find a dog person that also likes cats. Well, I would say that somebody's like, oh, you need a cat. You, you can get a dog and a cat. I'm just like, I don't want a fucking cat. Like, I'm fine with it. If you want a cat, that's fine. That could be for the people who want a cat. I just want a dog. Yeah, but I, I just don't understand the people that are like, oh, you like cats, so you hate dogs. I'm like, no. Well, I don't. No, cat people like almost all animals. Yeah, see, that? yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, because if you, like... can, if you can push yourself slow, so low as to have a fucking cat, then yeah, you can have any animal. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you pushed yourself. You pushed. You pushed your. You pushed yourself here. If we I just can put up with it. these fucking assholes, we could put up with anything. Yeah, exactly. It is. They, if I could put up with these animals that want us dead, I could put up with anything. Hey, look, they did a study where they leave bodies in open graves, and cats only eat the limbs off. <laughs> and dogs. I don't know. I'm pretty they're sure there scav- was a. They're scavengers. Dogs will just eat everything. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure there was a study that said dog, loyal dogs will just lay next to your body. Yes, but I'm referring to feral animals. Those I'm videos not. Videos just hurt me so bad because I've seen a couple of videos where it's mm-hmm. like the owner died and they took the dog to the funeral or whatever, and the dog is like flopping its body over the grave, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I, at first, I thought you were laughing. I'm like, what's funny about that, Nicole? The whole thing. <laughs> I feel like if I died, my cats would be upset, though. Maybe. Or maybe they would move on instantly. Wow, thank you. I'm just I'm just letting you know it's possible. No, they have you be. seen any... You said you saw a dog video. That, have you ever seen a cat video like that? You know, I was thinking about it, and I feel like I've seen one. One cat video. Okay. Because, I mean, dogs have good... Dog, dog has good... Dogs have good senses, so, I mean, that would make sense that they would know. Yeah, but cats, I mean, obviously dogs are more man's best friend, whatever. But, like, I feel like Don't cats say it like that. Too. How dare you? <laughs> oh, man, they've got your best friend. <laughs> cats can mourn, too, just like dogs. Yeah, I'm sure. They can. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> Any they animal are came too. They are capable. They say it's fun, right? So there's uh, something called object permanence, right? Like babies don't have it, and that's why peekaboo works. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can test dogs and realize that dogs can't tell in their reflection in a mirror is them. The fun thing is there's no intelligence test that's ever been conducted on cats successfully because the second you start testing a cat's intelligence, the cat goes, nah, bitch, I ain't here to play, and they just don't take the test. Just outright refuse. Because they're assholes. Yeah, my goal of 2020 was to try to teach one of my cats how to sit. Ah. Neither one of them know how to sit. <laughs> you have time. Yeah. You have time. I have trained my cat to make two chirps when she's hungry. So she goes, meow, meow. It's the only thing I've successfully trained a cat to do. And that's only because she wants food. Okay, but like, Ash was trained before. To go to the bathroom on the toilet. That's madness. Before we got Ari. Hey, but whatever. We got her and then all it went to hell. Cause I was like, I don't want to have to do this to another cat. I'm over it. You, you I have no cat. idea how you would train a cat to do that. They have they have a thing. They have um. Well, it's, it's like a litter box and it sits over your toilet and you have to get um biodegradable, flushable cat litter. And then they, they learn to jump up on the toilet. And then once they have that down, you switch it out to one that has a hole in it. So then they start going in that, and then they can start scraping stuff in the toilet, and then you got to switch it out again to where it's a bigger hole. And then eventually, it's, they're not even... They just go. I'm going to stick with my my automatic pooper scooper um, <laughs> litter box. <laughs> that works. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick with I'll are... stick with dogs. <sighs> See, I don't even have one of those right now, so you gotta get up, take face. them outside. Oh yeah, heaven forbid you're not. I'm the laziest fucker you can find, and heaven forbid I have to get up once. <laughs> once, 
What are you talking At about? At least once. No, you gotta take I mean, throughout the day, it'd be more than once if you're, you know, a couple of times a day. But heaven forbid I get up a couple of times. Just stop being lazy, Nicole. You know, is okay. that a tough, is that a tough ask? Yeah. That's a tough ask. <laughs> it really is. I had to do that with Shadow. Listen, I love that dog so much. Mm -hmm. But getting up and taking him outside every half hour was the worst. And potty Jesus. training him. Literally potty training him. I don't ever want to have to go through that again with a dog. I think he, I I think it depends the dog and what how fast they learn. That little shit ass literally sat down. He was he was a puppy. He sat down on the floor looked at me, and he peed. <laughs> <laughs> he was sitting down, like, no indication that he needed to go out at all. He wasn't even by the front door. He just sat down and fucking peed everywhere, and I was like, did you even realize what was going on? Like, the fuck? He, he tried a ninja pee. I gotta respect it. He, he was the worst dog to potty train, but he got it down, which was great, but like, fuck. I was like, are you kidding me? I want it. What? Just blew my mind. I never had a dog do that before. Yeah, it depends. It depends the dog. Um, some take more time to potty train than others, obviously. Yeah, but I wouldn't say he was a stupid dog. I mean, he learned tricks and stuff pretty quick. Yeah. Ones that I taught him. I mean, I taught him to sit and shake and lay down and speak and stay. Hey, every everybody has the thing they get hooked up uh, hooked up on. His was. Phonics? Phonics? Yes. Hooked on phonics. My friend has a um a Still black can't read. And a Dalmatian, and I've tried to get them to speak, and they just won't. And I'm like, y'all are fucking stupid. Dalmatians are the actually one of the dumbest breeds on earth. Mmm, inbreeding. And, and chihuahuas are the biggest assholes. Yeah, they are. Fuck them things. Oh. They're like they're like cats if they're dogs. Chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> and they piss everywhere. You can't train them not to piss. You and they never it. stop shaking. I feel they like never having a cat would be better stop. than having a chihuahua. Even if you are a dog person. Plus, I can't look at a chihuahua without thinking of Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, I can't have one of those. I don't even really like Taco Bell that much. I mean, I, it's good. They don't have those commercials anymore. So kids these days don't know who the fuck that is. What? Yeah. What? You ask somebody younger than me by a couple years who the Taco Bell dog is, and they're probably like, the fuck? Yeah. I swear to God. It was, it was uh, yeah. Chihuahua Boy. They have no idea what Yokito Taco Bell means. I'm assuming that dog's name was Chalupa. It had to be. Chalupa the Chihuahua. No, Chalupa is fairly new. At Taco Bell, isn't it? I don't think so. I could be wrong. Well, fuck I if I fuck I know about Taco Bell. His name was probably Taco. I like I like Chalupa the Chihuahua. <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Mostly because their meat at the time could have been Chihuahua. <laughs> their meat now is probably Chihuahua. <laughs> I can tell you something. It's meat. It's only safe for prisoners and soldiers. <laughs> I can say as somebody who stood there and watched people know. make burrito after burrito after taco, that meat, not looking savory. Mm -mm. <laughs> like, well, the worst part is like they sell the seasoning at the grocery store, and the seasoning's fucking delicious. But you got to put it on real meat that isn't like thirty percent meat and seventy percent soy garbage. Okay, and listen, I get the Taco Bell seasoning, like whenever I get taco seasoning and stuff, and it just does. It's not the same. Like, it's it better in good. every <laughs> fucking way. It tastes good. Don't get me wrong, but like. Fuck, uh, she I must have her Taco, Taco Bell, Bell seasoning in that vomit they call meat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Whatever it is Taco Bell has, like, I dig it. Listen, I just I just go with the steak case. I just go with garbage. the steak case ideas. It's hard to fuck up steak. Yeah, I go with the steak. I don't try I don't trust chicken anywhere, so I barely get chicken anywhere. Listen, yeah. Your job has made me not trust chicken. That's what I've heard. Like if you're gonna go somewhere and get the steak because mm. it's it's gonna be cooked. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've well, watched. I can't kill you. I've easily. watched people not cook chicken to the right temperature, and while most people probably will, I don't trust it. Yeah, me either. You know, throw. Gonna sit here Travis, Travis has has destroyed my faith in chicken. <laughs> they, they have chicken. You warm it up in the microwave. When you warm up in the microwave, it needs to be up to one sixty-five at least. Um, and you'll oh, you'll pull it out, and 
you take a temperature of it and they're they're like putting it together for customers. I'm like, I'm gonna take a temperature. This is like 108. I'm like, put it back in the microwave. You trying to murder people today? Or cook That's it like me. a normal human. Mm, salmonella. I can't yell at them, so I'm yelling now. My fave. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I doubt these people want to eat whatever this raw shit you're trying to give them is. See, that's why I can't, I don't think I could ever work in, like, what you do. Because that would just ruin a lot of places for me, and I would hate myself. You know, uh, what I found out is uh, most Arby's are pretty good. If not spectacular. See, I don't eat at Arby's. That's fine. They have the meats, though. Yeah, and, and every state is different, so you're, the Arby's where you are could suck, but the ones around here are good. I uh, I actually am not a fan of Arby's. I eat at Taco Bell uh -huh. <laughs> and McDonald's. Well, you know, they don't have enough meat in their food that's to just the, that's the dangerous. So. That's, that's the most basic bitch answer you could have said. I eat at Taco Bell and McDonald's. And Freddy's. Oh, my God. She missed Applebee's. Applebee's is good. They're, I, like they, I will eat the chicken, the the boneless, uh, the boneless chicken chunks there. That Applebee's. Yeah, because it's fully cooked and they're delicious. That's what I usually get. Mhm. Mm or a burger. Or a burger. Yeah. And B Dubs. I like B Dubs too. That too. But all those places, all the pe all those places have frozen chicken. That's all. They just they just cook it and then add sauce. Warm it up. That's fine with me. Oh, you mean the right way? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right way. Yeah, Don't I mean, be Subway, bro. <laughs> what does Subway do? Oh, they just they the chicken's probably pre cooked. Oh, it and is. they let it thaw during the day. Even the non chicken chunks, just the shredded chicken or whatever, then they just throw it in that toaster. I don't know if the toaster gets hot enough. Oh, the yeah, I mean some toasters are better than others with subway there's some subways i've been to where you cook and you eat you eat it and it's just like it's still cold it's like fix your it's, toaster it's it's still cold um and the cheese go, isn't even melted you go to how'd the, you do this you go to newer subways they usually have new the newer toaster so it usually works how's my bread burnt and my meat is cold <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> don't even leave Okay, so you call me the picky one. You said everything I've said, it sucks since we started having this conversation. So maybe <laughs> you're the picky one. Arby's <laughs> and Subway? That's it. That's literally it. Oh, we have time. You'll come <laughs> up with something else. When you guys go to B-dubs and you get the uh, cheese curds, do you dip it in caramel sauce? I don't, I don't think I've had the cheese curds. I usually get mozzarella Same. sticks if Same. I get anything. But the mozzarella sticks are like $7, so it's like, uh... It's almost not worth it, but I'm already there. Yeah. How can you go to B-dubs and not get the cheese curds? I don't know, because I don't. Because okay. why would I pay for something I don't fucking want? Because <laughs> I... Good. What's wrong with mozzarella sticks? Nothing. I love mozzarella sticks. Exactly. It's all cheese. They are the superior. Okay, well, listen. Next time you go to fucking B-dubs... That was like four years ago, so I'll, I'll remember that for when I go there next time. Yeah, get yeah. Get cheese curds and get caramel sauce and dip it. Okay. Oh, you're not gonna do that. You guys are Caramel sauce is for apples. Yeah, fucking pansies. Okay. Wait, what? I you're don't think gonna, those you're, correlate. You're not gonna <laughs> pressure us into dipping the cheese curds into caramel. You guys won't do it because you're bitches. <laughs> Man, my level of fucks given like, is so low. You're not really like, gonna, like, like, get me to do this. But you won't. No, I fucking won't, <laughs> obviously. Okay, but no, I just feel like you should try it, though. It's pretty good. If you I, go with somebody and they get yeah. cheese curds. Beat-ups has just became uh, super expensive. So I barely go. They had a sale one time. I think we had a gift certificate. So we just bought a lot of we just bought a we just bought a lot of the chick the, the chicken boneless chicken. And uh, we ate that because I was not going to pay a billion dollars for like eight pieces. Or whatever they charge normally. A billion dollars. I was pretty sure. Give or take a few dollars. <laughs> I feel, yeah, that's, that's how much it is. You're, you're in the ballpark. A billion dollars. It feels like it when you're done in there. They bring you your check. You got, you got like two things. I'm like, oh, that'll be $35. You're like, what the fuck? And you still got a tip, obviously. I, yeah, I'm just like, I, I mean, I didn't even get a, like, I just got water. Like, that doesn't even tack anything on <laughs> If you get it to go, you don't have to tip them. You know that, right? Just yeah, that's, but... Oh, I don't know. I love when they 
I always feel, part of me feels bad when I go to pick up for a delivery and they hand you a thing to sign and you're just like, tip, nope. You just cross a line through that. <laughs> and, and, okay. I don't feel bad at all. Uh, I'm like, I did all the fucking work. Bye. Well, to be yeah. fair, the to be fair, the person at the cash register did nothing. He's just taking the money. He don't exactly. deserve a tip. So why would I tip that person who just literally carried it to me? The only time I tip somebody who worked at the cash register is when I was in college and I worked at a Buffalo Wild Wings for six months. And I tipped the person that I bought it from just to be nice. But I'm not going to do it for some random. Was it a girl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Classic classic it was college you know <laughs> it was college boobs the greatest of all inspirations was it worth it no i mean i don't know nothing ever happened i just tipped her so no <laughs> it wasn't worth it <laughs> so i was actually i was a at, sense. i was actually trying to be nice you just wasted your fucking money it was only like three dollars Wow, that's why nothing happened. You only gave her fucking three dollars. Well, I wasn't gonna give her fifteen. She was just giving the orders to me. You know, she's working the computer. She knew shit. Yep, there you go. I'm just saying. Maybe just be was... just because just because I was trying to get somewhere doesn't mean that I don't have morals. Okay. <laughs> you didn't get anywhere because you only tipped three dollars. Well, I'm not thinking what it made a difference. A, trust me, it wasn't the first or last rejection. Oh. <laughs> Life is a chain of rejections until it's Life is a life is a fucking highway. I'm gonna ride it. Okay, we're good. Uh, I'm good. (laughs) So, y'all states opening? My state's been open. Really? No. I mean, they've had they've had stuff in place, but we've been mostly open. Oh. What do you mean by are your states open? Because we're, like, starting phase three, which is basically everything but, like, carnivals and, like, uh, theme parks. Oh, um, back home, they're having the fair, the carnival fair thing. Yeah. But they're here, where I'm at right now, they aren't doing a fireworks show. What? But I'm pretty sure the bars are open. Yeah, bars are open. I just got my hair cut a week and a half ago. Oh my god. I'm still avoiding it because my mask is like a choke collar thing or whatever. So it goes all the way up to my ears. So like it's yeah. real hard to get a haircut. Trust me, I'm way. I'm dry. I haven't bought the other mask yet. Well well see what mine did is they, they cut um they cut the top and then when they were working over there they would have me just just take off one loop of the ear. Yeah. And then you can do it that way. Go on Amazon. I feel like my state has been open. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, there's like nobody in your state. <laughs> that's exactly why we're open. No, uh-huh. that's no, no, that's not fair because um, is considered a hot spot. Well, yeah. This area. It's considered a hot spot now. So. Mm-hmm. If, if I uh, get the COVID, um, it's nice. Don't know. be sad. It was nice knowing you guys, and that's it. But you're irreplaceable. You would think that. They had a really shitty time whenever I took off a day of work last week. Is that when I took off? Whenever Father's Day weekend. Was. Anytime I take a day off, it rains into pure chaos. Yeah, that's what they're like. It was so busy, we didn't get out of here till 6 o'clock. And I'm like, okay. okay. You know whose problem that is. <laughs> Not mine, bitches. Bitches. Yeah, but my my. That is that emphasis. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like, oh, you have to have this in place. You have to six foot distance. Like, it's like, how are we supposed to do these festivals and these goddamn fairs? There's no six foot distancing. Nobody's gonna do shit. No. They're just gonna walk around without their masks on, because you know at least half those motherfuckers are like, I don't want to wear a mask. Mask make me, make me like feel bad. And I'm just like, well, suck it up, Buttercup. Put your fucking mask on. Don't be a bitch. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I just wish that those, those people, people piss me off. Make up their mind. You know, like if they're like masks are mandatory. Just fucking well, I, they, I think they've always held the thing where it's like at least here that masks are required for employees, but it's, it's only a recommendation for customers. So our mandate here is if you're in inside a building, mm-hmm. 
any kind of business that isn't like a private owned like if you're not at somebody's house basically you have to wear a mask indoor if you're dealing with if you're customer service or if you're the person dealing with the customer service so like the automotive place when i got my car fit or uh my oil changed you have to wear a mask there mm-hmm. and you and can that's the state law across the board and you can have like like most places here, I mean, you it's only recommendation, but as the business owner, you can make them. Be like you're not coming in here unless you're wearing a mask. But Yeah, Washington State just made it mandatory and then all these people are crying and it's like, Jesus Christ, bro. Fucking you you either want everything open or you want to sit at home in quarantine. I mean, I just And if you have- want everything open, you got to wear a fucking mask. But some people I mean, are just there's some people to this day, that thinks the whole thing was a scam. So how are you going to force them to wear a mask? They're fucking morons. 125,000 people are fucking dead, and it's probably way higher than that. Oh, it's a scam, yeah. though. According to yeah, them. you can't you can't fix fucking re- you can't fix fucking stupid. Yeah. You almost said the R word. Yeah, but it would have been inaccurate. <laughs> You were so close. You went there. You almost I, went I caught, there. I caught myself because I realized <laughs> as I was saying it that they would know better. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Nice, <laughs> you, you did your best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did my best. No one can ask for more. <laughs> Mediocre is generally what I'm striving yeah. for anyways. Yeah. Well, proud of you. I'm not. But yeah. People with masks is a whole different thing. I mean, there's a, that video of that guy that tried to force him. In. I think it was a Walmart, wasn't it, or something like that? Oh, he tried to fight his way through the fucking greeter. And that wasn't a greeter. That was a fucking bouncer. <laughs> you're not going through that guy. Yeah. You know, he was trying to force himself in there. Cause apparently, you're supposed to require to wear a mask when you go in there. And he didn't want to, so he tried to force himself by. It's just like, like if you want to go shopping so badly to a place where you don't want to wear a mask, just fucking go somewhere else. Well, or in honesty, okay. I don't want to go anywhere with a mask. I don't want to leave the fucking house because I don't trust people. Mm-hmm. So guess what? Everything's been delivered to my fucking house. And I wear a mask when the motherfucker comes to the door, and they're wearing a mask when they come to the door. They give me my shit, and they leave. Yeah, I mean, I'll go shopping. Yeah, I don't I've had things care. delivered, um, well, like UPS and FedEx and stuff like that, and those guys weren't wearing masks. Yeah, so everyone here is. All our, all, all the, well, and I think it's because the state mandates it here. So, like, well, all the Amazon drivers, all the mail people, um, all the Pizza Huts. Yeah. Okay, but I'm, I'm going to be honest. I actually haven't been the best of, about, like, wearing a mask out in public. <gasps> Gasp. I'm Gasp. Never. I've gotten, I've, I've really been trying to get better about it and it's like well nicole just put put the fuck on i'm like well i get out of the car you know i'm just you know in my zone and then i get out of the car i'm already like halfway to the store and i'm like fuck it i'll just yeah, go wait, my- well, yeah like what i said is mine's a choker so i just put mine down when i'm not using it so it's just on my neck yeah mine is uh i mean i have a lot of them because of the job i have and it, it's because i have to wear them going into all these places it just becomes like natural so me wearing it to go shopping is like nothing right it's just another day. Yeah, the only yeah. challenge I run into is because I wear sunglasses, because any amount of sunlight, more than like 10 minutes in direct sunlight, I get a migraine. Mm-hmm. I always feel like a, like I'm a burglar or some shit, even though I have an acid wash, like, bright neon face mask. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been trying to get better. But, like, if I go in somewhere, I'm not, like, you know, lollygagging, and I'm not just cruising Walmart, like, oh, hmm. What's Walmart gonna make me buy today? I don't know. I go in for a purpose and then I get out. Like I'm not. And yeah, I haven't. I haven't physically gone into an actual like Target or Walmart or anything like that since this whole thing started. See, but I also feel like it. Like you said earlier, nobody. There's nobody in this state. Like you know, our populations are way smaller than where you guys are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for sure. I mean, I don't know. My population is probably pretty small. I live in the middle of nowhere. Well, you know. We can't both live in the middle of nowhere. Sorry. We live in the middle I'm of nowhere. I'm pretty sure sorry. you both do. You yeah. should just be happy that Travis we should just be happy. Has satellite internet. He's so no, 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 no. We don't have satellite internet because I mean, technically, it's dished to a tower. And trust me, it's better than the satellite because the satellite is probably like uh, most likely. Oh, you have a data cap. At least is unlimited. 
Oh yeah, yeah. The the yeah. Okay. It's still not. It's not high speed. It's not line to your house high no, speed. Internet. It's not high speed internet. One day. One day. It'll be good. <laughs> One day. One day. Until then, I'll just deal with what I got. It's it works and that's okay. I could have gigabit internet if I wanted it. So could I. I would just have to move. I, I could, but the I'm pretty sure the network card in my computer doesn't run higher than a gig. Hmm. And I don't want to pay that extra money for nothing. It makes no difference on my end. You know what I mean? Yeah. Once well, you get to a certain, once you get to a certain upload speed, it makes no difference. Twitch yeah. won't accept anything over three k. For streaming, um, for for streaming, yeah, I would love to get to a point where I can um, get to ten eighty sixty fps. But I want them to fucking have, uh. God, because they've been having issues where you go live and you're supposed to have the quality button and it's just not there. Oh, I had that this. Mm -hmm. I had that yesterday morning. And I refuse to stream without it, so I'll literally sit there. I don't care if it annoys anyone. I'll sit there and start and stop and start my stream until it fucking it's fucking there. Yeah, I because I had it on when I started stream on Friday. I had the quality button, mm -hmm. and then when I started the stream on Saturday. Nothing. It's Nothing. just set and at that source. Is, that is a Twitch thing because if you can, if you if you stop and start your stream, sometimes it takes it a couple times. It'll it'll be there. It's not like yeah. they're having issues. It's just Twitch sometimes is just kind of like nah. Not and, today, Satan. Yeah, but it's like some people that watch the streams are their internet can only handle like they may have shitty internet. They can only handle up to three sixty, and so they can't watch my stream because it's locked at seven twenty. It's just like I'm not gonna uh, do that. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna make sure there's a quality thing there. Gotcha. Yeah, I just, I just wanted gigabit internet because it was faster, not because I wanted to stream. I know, <laughs> I know. You do you really need gigabit internet for anything? Totally other than other, other, other than fast uh, downloads, but I highly doubt that League takes long to download anything. I want to be able to load into League like one second after. Like, so you're just impatient. Well, no. yeah. No, it's fine. I really don't need gigabit internet. <laughs> I'm saying all you play is League. It was literally like t maybe ten dollars more than what I pay for my internet now, and I was like, I could, I could pay ten dollars more for gigabit internet. Why the fuck not? Yeah, I mean, trust me. If I had gigabit internet and I could, I could upload a video to the YouTube channel in like a half second, I'd be like, yeah, sure, bring it. And Travis, I'm getting real tired of you throwing it in my face that the only game I play is League. Okay, if I had a Switch, I would be playing other games. All right? Well. You know, no, you don't. You don't. So you get you, you get the switch, and I'll stop making fun of you. Until then, it continues. I've been looking for a switch. For I thought you had a sale. You had a so sale. Inflated. I thought you had a sale, and you just didn't pull the trigger. When? Remember, you said you were gonna buy one because you found one cheap. A no, while back. Earth source, it was, it was source failed her because Nintendo doesn't actually lower the price of their anything ever. I thought Nintendo was also having a switch shortage too. They are. Yeah, maybe. Well, in everything I'm finding online, the price is like five hundred dollars for just the Switch console. Yeah. Oh fuck that. They're probably yeah, people like... reselling them, inflating the price because they know there's not very many of them right now. I would just go to Amazon, order it, and just fucking wait for the thing. Yeah. I mean, you're not gonna find the one you're looking for. Well, no, but I want one at the at a decent price, not fucking six hundred dollars. But they no, my get... guy was an inside guy working at a store who was going to get it for me. That but they're through. not shipping them to the stores. Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. You weren't yeah. kidding. What the fuck? I told you. I, I literally, I've looked at Walmart.com, Amazon, Best Buy, GameStop. Yeah, Amazon Target. only is only selling it through the resellers. Oh, yeah. fuck. And they're, they're they're selling it for like five or six hundred dollars. Yeah. And I don't know how you know I well, obviously I don't want to pay six hundred dollars because when it first came out it was only three, and second of all I don't know if I trust those people. I wouldn't. So I'm screwed. Flame doesn't trust anyone. Well, you know I'm paranoia. With, I mean I'm it's with that effect of the anxiety. I mean I'm with them, but I'm just gonna make fun of him. Oh. Yeah, and I appreciate it. No it's problem. gotten worse too, cause like, right? I wanted Animal Crossing, but like that was oh, like, no. like, it's like, okay, I don't need a Switch for one game. But then they're coming out with Pokemon Snap, and I'm like, oh, I love Pokemon Snap. And then you showed that Pokemon Unite. 
Mm -hmm. And it's like, that game looks like it would be fun too. And I just, just, just sad now. Here, I mean, I, I, have you ever thought about uh, playing a good game? That's like asking me if I've ever thought about playing a good game. You do every no. once in a while. You play in Final Fantasy Travis, VII Remake. Yeah. Travis, have you ever thought about shutting the fuck up? Never once. <laughs> no. Well, it's not really his forte. That's not my thing. I mean, if, I can shut the fuck up. Um, no, I please have, don't leave. I've played... Um, well, it was in co-op, so I guess that doesn't really count, does it? Eh, uh, kind of. I don't know. I, uh, no, I was just sitting there. Never mind. Oh, that doesn't count as co-op. But Knack. Oh, I played Knack co-op. That's a good game. Proud of you. I mean, sure. Um, I made that game good. And uh, we played through it. Yeah, we'll go with All that. Right? We'll go with that. I'm convinced. You can't say that you weren't thoroughly entertained watching those streams whenever I was in it. I was, in fact, very To, to be fair, I'm, I was probably there, but I don't remember anything about it. That's how good of a game it was. I'm sure you were epic, though. I've never hated you more. That's oh. fine. That's fine. It, I'm sure it'll get worse. <laughs> no, it's like one of the first games for that console generation, too. I mean, yeah, it was. It, 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 it was like a launch title. It, it was. I was going to say I was there for The Last of Us, but I didn't actually push any buttons. I just... You were there. So, that didn't but you, count. I mean, you were there, so... Yeah, but you I watched. Didn't play it. That's true. You would have died. Died. Am I wrong? No. Um, Travis, haven't yes. you died? Yeah, but not repeatedly. So like where's you your point? Have... You don't know that. I never I... played the game, so you don't know that. I want to see you play it then. How many deaths did you get? The last time I played it, two. I don't believe that. The entire game. You die all the time. No. The no, last he's of really us... good at Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> could literally be a speedrunner at this I'm point, girl. It. Yeah. Okay. You can't win this argument. Okay, on this. How many, how many you picked the wrong played? game. <laughs> okay, no, no, listen. The first time you ever played it, how many mm -hmm. times did you die? That was 2014. I have no fuck. I don't remember. I don't even remember the last 10 minutes. I didn't even stream then. That was like when I first got my PS4 and I was like, ooh, what's this random game? Because there was no games when the console first came out. Nope. And then I and then I loved it. So I don't remember I that a shit ton of death. Yeah. I loved it enough that I replayed it the moment I beat it, so I don't remember my original playthrough. Okay, but I feel like we would have to go off of your very first time playing it and my very first time playing it. We can't go off of you playing it 50 times. Well, let me get in my time machine and I'll go back and check it out. No, I'm just saying, like, if I played it as many times as you, there's no telling. I could be good. Yeah, you'd, you'd still suck at it. We don't know that. Yeah, exactly. We don't I, know that. I just kind of like, <laughs> just leave me throwing <laughs> my jabs, okay? No. You do it to me all the time. I can't resist. <sighs> Maybe. Just, you you play you play the last of us ten times and we'll see where you're sitting. That's like me telling you that like if you were to play a league. Mm hmm You'd be like, oh wow, you suck. Mm -hmm. Because you died twenty times. I mean, yeah, but the the, the difference is is I wouldn't play league because it sucks. No, but like if it's your first time playing it and you died twenty mm -hmm. times, well we'd have to compare it to my very first time playing league. Do you remember your very well, first I, time? How many times did you die when you I very first played? I probably did die twenty times. You die a lot in that game, to be fair. What? In general. Oh, and the, that yeah, being yeah. said, until you get a switch, you really refused to, because you said you played Valorant for like half a second. I'm not good at first-person shooters. But not, not because without because practice. not without practice. You just sit there and do a one game. You're like, nope, and then you stop playing. You weren't good at no. League without practice. Okay, listen, I was telling Flame Wolf She's still that. not good at League. What's well, she that? tries her best. Oh, yes, I am. She tries her best. I'm good at League. I don't want to. I just she, see. See, that time, that time it was Flame. Do not. I that actually, was Flame that time. I actually fucking hate both of you. I'm better at League than. Nobody huh? plays League anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you were okay. better than me when I was playing League. But, uh, you were better at ARAMs. Uh, better at ARAMs. <laughs> and I'm better than you and Colton and Sailor and probably Austin now too. So. Because you're the only one still playing it. Exactly. We've okay, all no, moved I'm... on to bigger and better things. No, I was talking uh, about... Me not so much better. Okay, we've all moved on. Most of us have moved on to bigger <laughs> and better things about me playing Valorant and I loaded into a game with other people and they started like 
They weren't yelling, but they were yelling at me. And they were doing what every single MOBA <laughs> chat does. You fucking took you dear. Like, like, where are you going? You, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you doing? And I'm like, fuck, I don't fucking know. So I quit. Quitter. Yeah, because it's different. Because like I said, whenever I first started playing League, I had austin and colton and sailor and if somebody was like oh my god you suck what the fuck are you doing they would like they'd they'd shut him down and start yelling at him for me because i didn't know what i was doing so that's what kept me playing league and then i didn't have that in valorant so these people are just like coming at me and it's like okay bye do you yeah, want me to do you want me to just way. like i don't want to play valorant you want me to just sit in the game and just shut people down so you can actually have an opportunity <laughs> They're just coming at you. I'm yeah. just like, hey, bitch, you don't talk to her like that, you motherfucker. And then yeah, we continue. Be like, this is her first time playing an FPS. Can you just fucking not, please? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no. You don't want to say that. There'd be even more smack talk. Yeah, the it's issue so is, is how long ago How long ago was it when you started playing League? Um, I don't know. Go ballpark it. 300 years ago. Like seven, seven years ago, and now there were assholes back then too. But I feel like there were there's even more assholes now. No. Oh yeah, and the higher rank you get, the even bigger the asshole they are. Mm -hmm. See, because everybody like everybody thinks they're so like how, top. How can notch, you be? Tier. How can you be elitist and still be trash tier with me? And that's where the issue comes in. And like you can talk smack to me, but if we're at the same level, your smack means nothing yeah. because you've done it longer and not any better. Well, see, but I feel like I got put in that room because the game just came out, so I don't know. You know, yeah. Or maybe it has really shitty matchmaking. Maybe. But people take it, people take some of the multiplayer games so goddamn seriously. Like, everybody thinks they're going pro. Yeah. And it's just like, can we and just, like, play the game, please? Yeah. See, that's, that's probably what I need. It's just like... Just somebody in there that's like... <laughs> yeah. Like, I can understand. Like, Nicole, you'll sit there and scream, like, what the fuck? But you're not yelling it at the person, at like, the at person. their face. For shame. Yeah, you're not yelling it into their ear, making them cry. Although you probably would. She would. No, 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 no. Listen. She would. I have never gotten reported on League for being toxic, and I've never gotten, like... I, I don't, like, if people are saying some dumb shit to me, like, if, if they're trying to be toxic to me or whatever, I don't really take it to heart with League of Legends because it's... A bunch of 10-year-olds. Literally League of Legends. A bunch of fucking children because it's free to play. But like, yeah. with other stuff, like, the first-person shooter games are just kind of scary and mm -hmm. a little bit... Um, that, yeah, that's what you run into. The, the free-to-play games is where you get a lot of the toxic because it's a bunch of 12-year-olds because they don't have to ask their parents to buy it. They just download it. <laughs> And you know, then the systems in place to remove them don't actually exist yeah. because it's free to play and the company doesn't want to actually invest in getting rid of toxic, yeah. shitty same, people. Same with Fortnite. Fortnite was popular. I mean, I'm sure it was fun for its time, but it was a bunch of 10 to 12 year olds that was able to download the game without asking their mom. And so they played it over and over again. And, you know, you know how you know how they are. They just scream. Whatever yeah, they showed they, they, they showed up to your stream asking why what, about the Travis Scott. Tra concert. Travis Scott. Am I Travis Scott? Absolutely. <laughs> In this particular context. Yeah. If you're gonna keep if you're gonna keep asking, I'm tired of saying no, so <laughs> Fuck yeah I am. Fuck yeah. I still love that there was a there was an in game uh concert going on in Yakuza five. That made it so much better. That's where I peaked views because I thought it was he, the concert. He was literally having a dance contest in Yakuza. Yeah. It was part of the story because of the because of the character. And um, and yeah, I peaked at like 276 viewers because of because they thought that was the concert. People were mad at me. They're like, "This isn't the concert." No, like, I don't know, even know what you're talking about. about. Yeah, but we were talking about league. Um, but any other stories you got to this week? I got I got one last one. One last one. Okay. okay. Last one. I can. All right. That. German man accidentally buys 28 Tesla Model 3s online. What? What's a Model 3? A Model 3 is like their, like, sedan. Okay. It's like just a normal car. Gotcha. But you have to pay a non-refundable deposit every time you do it. Mm -hmm. So what he was... Yeah. So it would have been $4,300. 
in non-refundable deposits. Oh my god. So homie is trying to buy a 20 or Yeah, okay. He was hoping to replace the aging family's Ford Tor Kuga, which I don't speak German, so I don't fucking know what that is. I'm ass I'm assuming like a Forte or something. Uh -huh. It's a Cougar. With a newer, more modern vehicle. The decision was made to get the Tesla Model 3. So, dude's trying to purchase it online, right? Mm-hmm. So, he gets the Model 3 with the uh, autopilot option and added to his cart and hit confirm. Except his click didn't send the order it looked like. So when he clicked it, you know how it's you click on shit sometimes and it says, uh, don't refresh, don't do anything? Mm -hmm. He didn't know, so he <laughs> kept trying. Oh my god. So later, later he gets an email saying that he ordered 27. Oh my god. Um, and it would cost him $1,404. No, no correction. $2,149. I feel like, I feel like... There's no way. Like, they have to have some common sense there. They have to give him his money. Back. So, total with each vehicle costing the family a non-refundable 100 euro deposit. So, about $4,300. Yeah. Um, Tesla is notorious for not giving refunds after you click um, confirm. But this time they decided, uh, yeah, that might be bad press. We'll uh, yeah. we'll let you have. Uh, we'll let you have the. <laughs> we'll we'll just take the 100. Yeah. I would say you're already buying the fucking car. I would seriously be like, you can notoriously fuck off. I'll see you in court. Yeah, yes, okay. so what in, <laughs> your money because you're not. What I believe I read on a different site was basically um, they contacted him because he had ordered twenty eight mm -hmm. or twenty three, and they were like, "Yo, are you a are you a uh, are you like a vendor or a sales place or something?" And he's like, "No, what the fuck are you talking about?" I'm just a dude. <laughs> they were like, uh, we should probably fix that. Yeah, that picture is, yeah. <laughs> That's not what my face would look like if I found out I bought just, I just bought 28 cars. <laughs> um, but that's pretty close to it. Just gave Tesla $4,300 of non-refundable monies. Oh I would God. just be sitting in the corner. They'd be like, what's wrong? I'd be like, don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's. I'd say they better give him his money back because that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Nah, they did. Well, that's good. Otherwise, we'd have to we'd have to do our we'd have to like go out and talk to him, have a talk to him, yeah. help this guy out. We're going to Germany, boys. You know, I wanted to take a trip to Germany. We can't go there right yeah, now. When no, it's over. No, Americans are banned from travel international because uh, we're a failed plague state. Because we're infected. Yeah, we're we, are infected. The, we are. We are. We are. A fourth of the co the world's deaths with only 3% of the population. They're trying to keep the last of us in reality contained to one country. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mexico started building a border wall to keep <laughs> Americans out. So is Canada. I was going to say Canada's next. Yeah. But... All right, guys. Uh, I think that is going to do it, unless you have anything else to add, guys. Mm. No. 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 Uh, that okay make a decision nicole <laughs> she has nothing that's gonna do it for this podcast um so flame wheel take us out thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for coming out today if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you dislike the video leave a dislike because fuck us um if you haven't already and yeah. you enjoyed the video please subscribe and ring that little bell if you want to see these podcasts more often thank you i'm gonna say goodbye bye guys fuck us bye guys. <laughs> Watch me rain